Google is an Ayurvedic medication that's been used for thousands of years for a multitude of reasons. Mostly these days it's known for its cholesterol lowering properties, but someone emailed me today and asked if Google can actually help people lose weight. Let's look at the evidence. So we had this investigation where it's reported that compounds in Google called Googlesterones may have anti-obesity effects due to their ability to destroy fat cells. Now, while that is nice, let's remember that this is an investigation of isolated cells and not human beings taking Google. So the real test to see if Google helps people lose weight is to give it to people and see what happens. So let's look at those studies. In this investigation, 58 overweight people are split into two groups. The first group is instructed to eat 1,200 to 1,600 calories a day and to walk 30 minutes a day. And the second group does the same thing and also consumes Google at a dosage of between 1.5 and 3 grams a day. And the study lasts for one month. So it is reported here that the people taking Google lost more weight than those who just dieted and exercised. And here are the before and after numbers. So after 15 days, it's reported that the people taking the Google supplement lost about four pounds, 1.92 kilograms. And after 30 days, the Google takers lost approximately five pounds or 2.25 kilograms. So while this is more weight loss than those people who did not take the supplement, let's keep in mind that the differences seen here were not deemed to be clinically significant while dropping four to five pounds in a month might seem real life significant to people, let's also keep in mind that this was an open labeled clinical trial. This means that the people and the researchers knew who was getting the Google supplement. This is a problem in my book because it opens the door to the possibility that maybe those people who were taking Google supplements worked harder than those who just dieted and exercise. So that's the lay of the land on this study. So what other research do we have? This is a much better clinical trial. Google Lipid for the Treatment of Hypercholesterolemia, a Randomized Controlled Trial. In this investigation, 103 people with elevated cholesterol are given either a placebo or 2,000 milligrams or 3,000 milligrams of Google supplements each day with meals for two months. So what happened here? Well, there was no significant declines in body weight in the people taking either the standard dose of Google, 2,000 milligrams a day, or the higher dose of Google, 3,000 milligrams a day. So Google did not appear to help people lose weight in this investigation. But what about cholesterol levels? Because after all, that is what this study was predominantly about. So there were no declines in total cholesterol, good HDL cholesterol, triglycerides, or very low density lipoprotein, bad cholesterol with the Google supplements. However, ironically, it's reported that both the regular and the high dose of Google supplements appear to raise, ironically, bad LDL cholesterols by between four and 5%. Now, to be fair, they also state that those people in the study who already had high bad LDL levels, Google appeared to reduce triglyceride levels by between 10 and 14%. So I guess this is something you may have to decide for yourself, which outcome is more important for you. So as you can see, there's just not a lot of research out there so far on Google helping people lose weight. Although I will point out that there are a few studies conducted in India that I did see references to, but I couldn't read them, unfortunately. But from what I could tell, they also did not appear to show significant weight loss with Google supplements. Some people may say that Google helps people lose weight because it increases the absorption of iodine, which can help raise thyroid hormones. That appears to be a reference to an animal study from many years ago that appeared to show that in mice, Google increased iron absorption, but I've never seen it replicated in people. Although this study is probably also the reference why you'll sometimes see people say, if you have hypothyroidism or hyperthyroidism, talk to your doctor and pharmacist before you take Google. And it goes without saying, but I will say it anyway, if you do have any health problems or take any medications, absolutely talk to your doctor and pharmacist before taking Google supplements. So lack of a lot of good quality studies doesn't necessarily mean that Google doesn't help people lose weight, but it does mean that the door is open for future research studies. You tell me, have you tried Google and have you lost weight? Leave a comment below. I'm really curious to know what happened. Hope this quick video helped and until next time, take care out there.